hello everyone uh, i think your preparation is quite good and uh, tomorrow it's your uh, examination math examination many students have sent me this question actually in this question there are three eigenvalues one one and five and their question is how to find out eigenvector for repeated eigenvalue okay that's why uh, let's take this uh, let's solve this uh, problem and i think already you know how to find out characteristic equation how to find out eigenvalues etc so in this video my main motive is just to show you how to find out eigenvector for repeated eigenvalue okay i will not calculate the characteristic equation i will not calculate the eigenvalues okay so let's start <coughs> so obviously for this uh, matrix what will be the characteristic equation lambda cube minus 7 lambda square plus 11 lambda minus 5 this is equals to 0 this is our characteristic equation okay and if you solve this equation so uh, the eigenvalues will be lambda equals to 1 1 5 and here you can see that one is repeated eigenvalue yes or no so in this uh, a problem so this matrix will be diagonalizable if you count out uh, count the m m of one that will be two and similarly gm of one that will be two don't ask me how to find out am gm i already have discussed in my eigenvector eigen uh, value chapter and also in diagonalization chapter mainly in diagonalization chapter i have discussed this topic how to find out am and gm clear so and what will be am of 5 this is equals to 1 and gm of 5 will be 1 okay now let's start for the eigenvalue lambda equals to 1 so when lambda equals to 1 obviously am gm both are equal so this matrix is diagonalizable so for lambda equals to 1 we have to calculate a minus lambda i this is our a matrix lambda is 1 so the matrix will be 2 2 1 2 2 1 0 0 0 this is a minus lambda i and if uh, we calculate r2 minus r1 so this will be 2 2 1 0 0 0 0 0 0 okay obviously you can see in this problem here the first non-zero element is 2 so 2 is our pivot element pivot element and here we have two free variables suppose this is the column of x1 this is the column of x2 and this is the column of x3 and you can see in second column and third column there is no free variable that's why x2 and x sorry in second column and third column there is no pivot element that's why x2 and x3 this is our free variable so in this problem we have two free variables okay we have two free variables so you have to write here x2 and x3 are free variables okay and we know how to solve this type of problem we have to take the variable free variable equals to some constant value k so let's take let since x2 and x3 two free variables so let's take x2 equals to let's say this is k2 and x3 equals to k3 okay now what is the equation from the uh, row equivalent matrix from the row equivalent matrix the equation is 2x1 plus 2x2 plus x3 this is equals to 0 and we have to find out the solution so this this imply 2x1 plus x2 means k2 so this will be 2k2 x3 means k3 plus k3 this is equals to 0 this imply 
टू एक्स वन इक्वल्स टू माइनस टू के टू माइनस के थ्री सो दिस इम्प्लाई एक्स वन इक्वल्स टू माइनस के टू माइनस के थ्री बाई टू ओके सो व्हाट आर द सॉल्यूशंस द सॉल्यूशंस आर फर्स्ट एक्स वन एक्स वन मीन्स माइनस के टू माइनस के थ्री बाई टू कॉमा एक्स टू एक्स टू मीन्स k2 and x3 x3 means k3 okay this is your solution but you need eigen vector now the process is you have to separate this uh, solution into two parts because you have two free variables okay so that's why i am taking common k2 and k3 so if if i write this let's say this is i am taking common k2 so this will be from this factor the coefficient of k2 is माइनस वन सो दिस विल बी माइनस वन ओके हेयर के टू इज सिंगल एंड के टू इज आउट सो दिस विल बी वन एंड हेयर देर इज नो के टू सो दिस विल बी जीरो ओके प्लस के थ्री इज कॉमन फ्रॉम फर्स्ट फैक्टर व्हाट इज के थ्री इफ के थ्री इज कॉमन सो व्हाट यू आर गेटिंग माइनस हाफ सो दिस विल बी माइनस हाफ इन सेकेंड फैक्टर देर इज नो के थ्री सो दिस विल बी जीरो एंड द लास्ट फैक्टर One, okay. These two vectors minus one, one, zero, and minus half, zero, one. These two vectors are eigen vector, eigen vectors of lambda equals to one. Clear. These two vectors are eigen vector of lambda equals to one. Similarly, you can find out for lambda equals to five. When when lambda equals to five, so what will be a minus lambda i minus two three one two minus two one zero zero minus four. This is our a minus lambda i. Mm, R two plus R three. So this will be minus two three one zero at two plus. Oh, sorry, this is two. Uh, sorry, this is two. Okay, so at two plus this will be zero, and this is two, and the last row is zero zero minus four. Now at three plus two at two. So minus two, three one, <coughs> zero zero two, zero zero zero. Okay. Now here, this is very very interesting. In the first row, what is the first non-zero element? Obviously minus two. So minus two is pivot element. In the second row, what is the first non-zero element? This two. That means minus two and two. These two are pivot element. So what is free variable? This is the column of x one. This is the column of x two, and this is the column of x three. So wh which one is free variable? In second column, there is no pivot element. So obviously here, x two. X two is free. Variable, clear. So if x two is free variable, so obviously you have to take x two equals to k. So let x two equals to k. Now from the last uh, matrix, which uh, who, what are the system of equation? Minus two x one plus three x two plus x three. This is equals to zero. Okay, and two x three equals to zero. So obviously this equation you are getting. X three equals to zero. Already you are getting one solution. X three equals to zero. Another solution is X two equals to k. Now which one will be? Uh, what is the value of X one? Minus two X one plus three k plus zero. This is equals to zero. That means you are getting X one equals to three k by two. Is it correct? I have done some mistake. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. This is two. 
this is two sorry okay so this one will be two this is two so you are getting x1 equals to k so what are the solutions the solutions are x1 k x2 k and x3 0 now if you put k equals to 1 or if if you write this equation uh, this uh, solution in this form k common 1 comma 1 comma 0 so what is the eigenvector 1 1 0 okay this is your eigenvector now if you have to find out the modal matrix p so p is equals to just you have to write the eigenvector column wise first eigenvector is minus 1 1 0 minus 1 1 0 second eigenvector is minus half 0 1 minus half 0 1 and the third eigenvector is this one 1 1 0 1 1 0 okay so in today's video my main motive uh, was how to find out eigenvector for repeated eigenvalue so already i have um, find out the um, eigenvector and i have discussed that process how to find out this and you have gotten the modal matrix p now uh, you know what is the process you have to find out p inverse then you have to find out the diagonal matrix d is equals to p inverse a p okay so i think this video will be helpful many students have sent me this problem many students so thank you so much and uh, best of luck for your tomorrow's examination thank you